More than 30,000 people have been busted running red lights since Austin installed its first red light camera back in 2008. Today, the city has 10 cameras installed at some of the worst red light running intersections in Austin. Since 2008, the city has seen the number of people busted by those cameras drop dramatically, and that means the program is now losing money. KXAN City reporter Reagan Hackleman has a story from one of those intersections in North Austin. Well, guys, we're here at the intersection of Mopac and Wells Branch Parkway in North Austin. So far this year, that red light camera has given out a grand total of 13 tickets. The fewer tickets the city gives out, the less money they make. In fact, this year, the city is losing money on red light cameras. Since 2008, 35,746 drivers have been snapped running red lights at 10 intersections in Austin. Vicki French is one of those drivers. It sure has taught a lesson, though, not to go through a red light. It would appear the cameras have taught other drivers the same lesson. In 2009, almost 15,000 tickets were issued. Last year, that number dropped to less than 13,000. And so far this year, the number is a little more than 7,000. The red light camera uh, implementation was a success and is a success. Uh, if you use money as the measurement in terms of do we generate revenue from it, then you would say it's not successful. In 2009 and 2010 combined, the city made about 400000 from the cameras. So far this year, the city is losing a little more than $35,000. The reason? The city has to pay Redflex, the company that operates the cameras, a fixed cost of about $600,000 a year. The fewer tickets issued, the more taxpayers have to pay. APD is reporting that 30 30%, uh, there's a 30% reduction in intersection crashes. I think it's proven uh, to be an effective tool. I mean, if they're not going through the red light and, not, and they're not having a wreck, that's a good thing. But if we have to pay for it regardless, then it's not worth it. The city's contract with Red Flex, which is the company that operates the cameras, runs until the spring of 2013. Reporting from North Austin, Reagan Hackleman, KXAN News.